Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with another educational video about medical tourism. Now today I want to go over how much it costs to start a medical tourism company. And this video was actually inspired by an email that I recently got. Um, so I want to actually go and read that email to you and then go ahead and outline what are the major costs when starting a medical tourism company. So I'm not going to go over all the small costs that it takes to start a medical tourism company. I'm going to try to stick to the major ones. Uh, the ones that are going to cost you the most money at the beginning and also some of these are reoccurring so that's also why i added them to the list uh, but i want to go ahead and just share the email with you and then go over those brief points with you and then at the end of the video i'll go over how you can get these costs down and how i can help you with some of these so the email starts off dear gilliam i'm seriously thinking about opening a medical tourism company my question is what is the right budget required to start the business I also need your advice on a marketing plan for at least six months. By the way, do you have templates for a marketing plan? So that was the brief email that he sent. And I kind of want to just touch on these points. Um, so if you have questions like this, hopefully this will answer this for you. And you can kind of get an idea of how much it would cost you to go ahead and launch the business and go ahead and get started. So the first one I'll go over since he raised it in his email is marketing. So marketing is going to be one of your largest costs when starting a medical tourism company. And in fact, it's one of the reasons why companies go out of business. They don't have a sustainable marketing plan or they only have a temporary marketing plan. Marketing plans, they go for the duration of your business. So once you launch your medical tourism company, you definitely wanna factor in your marketing costs on a monthly and annual basis, because it is gonna be reoccurring. And we do have detailed marketing plans that you can utilize. Um, it's gonna lay out uh, how you're gonna get in front of your target market. It's gonna go over your SWOT analysis, meaning your strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Um, it's going to go over what channels you're going to use to get in front of your uh, prospective clients. So it's very detailed and you have access to this through our membership program, but you definitely want to factor in marketing. Um, and after you and after you complete this marketing plan uh, that we provide to you, you're going to have a realistic idea of how much it's going to take you to operate uh, and market your medical tourism company. And with that being said, uh, marketing can cost anywhere from a thousand to several thousand dollars a month. Um, it really just depends on how big you want to grow your agency and how rapidly you want to grow your agency. If you just want a small agency, um, it could cost you a thousand dollars. But if you want to be more ambitious and you want to grow a large agency, it's going to take you more marketing dollars to get in front of more prospective clients and to generate more patient leads. Now, the next large expense I want to go over is your website. So websites, uh, you can either have a customized website or you can have a template website. If you get a customized website, that means it's uniquely made for your company, it's built from scratch, and it's gonna cost you more money to create. But there's a lot of benefits of having a customized website. Um, one of the reasons that people like websites that are customized for them is because they rank better on Google, they rank faster on Google, um, and it's an overall better experience and it's unique to their company and it's not shared with any other company. So that's the benefit of having a customized website. With a template website, there's also benefits to that one. One being is that you can get online pretty quickly and it doesn't take as long to create. Uh, customized websites typically take weeks. Uh, sometimes it can take a month to create. Template websites, they don't take that long at all because they're already pretty much made. You pretty much just have to uh, add the content on there, uh, your logo, uh, your domain name, and you're ready to go after that. Um, there's also other costs that you want to factor in when having a website. So yeah, there's one, the initial cost to get it composed, but there's also other small fees that you're going to have with the website. So if you don't have a technical background, you may want to hire somebody to maintain the website for you, um, add website security on there, update plugins, and just keep the website running smoothly. Um, so that's another expense. And those are typically smaller expenses, but the overall website is one of the largest expenses you're going to have when starting your medical tourism company. The next expense I want to go over is medical tourism education. Now, when it comes to medical tourism education, you have a couple options. Um, one of those options is you can fly to a medical tourism conference and you can get certified at one of these conferences. Um, that's going to be your more expensive route just because you have to fly to these destinations and a lot of times they're more expensive. Um, another alternative you have is taking a online certification. Um, but you definitely want to take some form of education or training when you launch your medical tourism company. Patients love to see the logo on your website and show that you've been uh, verified by a third party. 
And it also shows you how to make the most profitable and the most successful medical tourism company possible. So medical tourism education is going to be one of your larger expenses once you start your company. And the online certifications are going to be a little bit cheaper uh, and they're more convenient. But if you want to interact with other people in the medical tourism industry, you can always fly out and get certified that way. The next expense I want to go over is building your healthcare provider network. Uh, building your healthcare provider network, uh, you can do this a couple ways as well. One is um, you can fly out to these facilities and these hospitals and these clinics and meet with the staff, walk around the clinics and the facilities and get a feel of it, um, find out um, how they operate um, and just go there physically. Another option you have is vetting and researching these healthcare providers online, setting up virtual meetings with them and understanding if they're a good match for you that way. So you can fly out to the healthcare providers uh, facilities or you can do all your vetting and research online. I always advocate to fly to the hospital or clinic and to meet your healthcare providers uh, face to face to get a feel for the clinics. So when you speak to prospects, you can speak from a firsthand experience um, and you can let them know key details about the destination and about the healthcare provider. But you do have these options. You can fly to the healthcare uh, facility and meet your healthcare partners, or you can do everything online. This is gonna determine how much it costs you to build your healthcare provider network. So the next expense I wanna cover is medical tourism contracts. Now you should never coordinate a medical trip for a patient until you have a solid medical tourism contract in place. And the reason why I added this one to the list is because I've seen people spend thousands of dollars on composing just one contract for their company. So I had to add that one on here. Um, so you have options when it comes to this one as well. You can hire a lawyer. Um, there's not a lot of lawyers that know what medical tourism is or even specialize in medical tourism. So sometimes that's why it can be a little bit more costly to hire a lawyer to compose your medical tourism contracts. Now, another option you have is getting pre-made contracts for your medical tourism company. Um, these are contracts that are already composed and created for medical tourism facilitators. Um, you just have to customize them for your specific business and for what you're trying to achieve through your company. Hey guys, thanks for watching this short video today. If you're looking to cut down on your startup expenses, reach out to us. Um, we have a membership program called the Facilitator Gold Membership where all these resources can be accessed through. I'm going to leave a link below to our Facilitator Gold Membership so you can see all the benefits that comes with this program. These are just some of the resources that you'll have access to, but I look forward to speaking to you guys soon and please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.